Hey, it's uh, it's Ingrid. It's been about five weeks post-op and I haven't given you an update in probably the last week, week and a couple days. And um, mostly because it's been a really quiet week, except for one thing, which I'm going to get to in a minute. But I'm still like, the leg is getting elevated and, you know, I'm resting and... You know, it's just kind of thing. The pain is pretty much non-existent except for nighttime with the leg boot. So we're going to try to show you what my problem was. And I'm going to move the camera. And I'm going to just adjust here. And I'm going to move the camera on my knee scooter and we'll see how that works and oh there's my leg boot i'm going to take my leg boot off really quickly so the leg boot is heavier but it's not that heavy it's like two and a half pounds i weighed it this feels like 25 when it's on a foot that is healing going to show you the leg boot was pretty good for most things like during the day it didn't really bother me but at night man I'd fall asleep and I wake up and I'm in such tremendous pain and man, like, what is going on and you want to rip that boot off and 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 you're like and it's like not at the incision it's like on the on the side of the ankle and like and then you're you're just not you know it was not a good thing and I tried to sleep without the leg boot a little bit, but that didn't really like work initially because the foot would just want that support for that the first week. So I I dug around and I figured out what my problem was. Got my here's my beautiful foot. Like it in the uh, in the sock, and it's great. I aired out. I able to wash it without scrubbing the incision. But here is my leg boot. Standard leg boot, kind of kind of clunky with all the padding. But there was something right between. Let's see if I can make sure you guys can. Can see this there's something right between these two pieces of foam right here and then on the other side between these two pieces of foam I'm going to show you that that one thing I'm going to talk about this one thing put this back up Why? Let us get right up to the camera. Why on earth would anyone put this in a leg boot? For someone recovering from surgery and a swollen, very sensitive skin foot. Let me describe this. It is a very hard, although a little bit flexible, but I'm putting somewhat some pressure on here. So fairly rigid, incredibly hard. It feels like needles. Piece of Velcro strip, sharp on both sides, like needles on both sides. I guess I thought they needed to hold the two pieces of foam together. I haven't had a problem. But at night, my leg would maybe angle just a little bit. And then I'd hit the sharp corner. These corners are sharp. I mean, if, if, if I put enough pressure, I'd cut myself right on right on this corner. I'm like, so I just I just ripped them out. So if your leg boot is driving you bananas, especially at night, look for these things. I, I've never had a leg boot that had these things in there. I'm like, yeah, speechless. Um, other than that, um, 
I'm wearing my goat hat today. I am the greatest of all time. That's what I keep telling myself. I've got this. Um, we're doing good. And continuing onward, my next surgery is is this month, February 22nd. That's the actual anchor replacement. So I've all been nine I've been non-weight bearing since January 2nd, and I am continuing on non-weight bearing until this thing is done and I'm walking on a brand new foot. Take care, God bless, and remember you can do all things through Christ who gives you strength.